Virtual reality can make healthcare more pleasant. This is Bertala Meshko, and you're watching the channel of the Medical Futures. Imagine a sunny beach scene. The soft ocean waves are caressing your feet, the sun is warming your skin pleasantly, the palm trees give you shelter, and some birds are chirping remotely. You hear a calm voice telling you to breathe in and out, in and out. Well, that was a woman giving birth in virtual reality, by the way. It's true, Erin Martucci gave birth to her second child with the help of VR for easing the pain. She told us she was immersed in a similar beach scene. It helped her distract from the pain so much that she didn't need any epidural or any painkillers to deliver her baby. Amazing, isn't it? VR has great potentials to make healthcare more pleasant. Medical education, surgery, rehabilitation, psychiatry and psychology could all benefit from it. For example, it can help teach medical students how to deliver difficult news to patients. Researchers had a study with Empathic VR, which allowed users to talk to virtual humans reacting to news about their health status. VR could make vaccinations less painful. Many people have a fear of needles. A study found that parents delay vaccinating their children due to the discomfort it causes their kids. The VR vaccine campaign immersed children in a virtual world. They could feel like superheroes by getting the fire fruit, the actual shot in reality. Are you afraid of heights, giant spiders or huge crowds? VR can help you combat your fears. The immersive environment recreates the dreadful situations but offers a safe place to get over fears. It could be the perfect solutions for PTSD, phobias or anxiety disorders. VR could also be useful for patients experiencing chronic pain. Brennan Spiegel and his team successfully introduced VR words to their patients to help them release stress and reduce pain. David Parker, an IT consultant from Toronto, uses VR to bring joy to palliative care patients. He lets them get out of their beds virtually and travel around the world. As a result, a hospital introduced VR headsets in its palliative care program. So why isn't VR in every hospital yet? We need to change attitudes. Erin Martucci got to know about VR from her gynecologist. Physicians and patients need to be open to technology and prepare for its use. When they are, it will work wonders.